Today I want to talk to you about the difference between a 22K switch and dissect switches. 22K and dissect switches are two devices that essentially do the same job. They are both electronic switches that bring in multiple satellite signals to your free satellite receiver through one coax cable. Both of them require voltage from your receiver to operate, and they're specifically made for free satellite receivers, which have a special feature known as power pass. It's a voltage that runs from the receiver back to the LNB through the coax cable, and they both need this voltage to operate. This first one is a 22K switch, and this can send two satellite signals to your receiver through one coax cable, and your receiver controls this switch by turning a 22 kilohertz tone on and off to switch between the two sides as you change channels. And I recently did a video going into more detail on the setup of this type of switch. So looking at the uh, three of these side by side, the real difference between a 22K switch and dissect switches is really the number of satellite signals that you can control with the switch. A 22K switch controls two signals. A DISEC can control four or maybe eight or even more uh, signals at once, sending them all to your receiver through only one cable. So let's take a closer look at DISEC switches now. So DISEC switches can bring satellite signals to your receiver in even greater numbers, all through only one cable. This one here can bring in four satellite signals. This one here can handle up to eight. And once you set these up, voltage from your receiver uh, controls the ports on the switch as you change the channels and move between satellites. So to simplify this, that means on this switch here, you could conceivably have eight satellite dishes set up and still bring all of them to your receiver through only one cable. I've got a couple of these switches set up outside and I'm just gonna show you those quickly. This is an eight by one dissect switch I'm using to route several satellites into my house through one cable. And over here is one that I'm using for my garage, except this one carries four satellites into one cable. So for this example, we're using 97 West Galaxy 19 on the KU band, which I have plugged into port two of that little four port dissect switch I just showed you outside a minute ago. Now, if I go to the dissect menu here and find that, I gotta just pick the right setting for this. So I know my switch has four ports, so I'm gonna be using one of these fractions here. In this case, two, four means two of four, so port two on the switch. When I press okay, watch the signal meter. So now I've set the, the receiver to find that satellite at the right place. And looking at a couple of other satellites here quickly, Let's go to 87 West KU. 87 West KU band is found on port one of that switch. And here is satellite 103 West on KU band, which is on port four of that switch. Now you'll notice that on this menu, the ports go up to four ports. We'll just put this back to where it belongs. If you look in the next menu, DISEC 1.1, this is where you can use your eight port DISEC or even 16 ports, but you have to have a lot of dishes or LNBs hooked up for that. So really the possibilities are endless for bringing in satellite signals to your receiver. It's really, limited by your imagination. And you can use dissect switches and 22K switches in conjunction with each other. I've just hooked up this sample quickly for uh, just for demonstration. So here we've got our eight by one dissect switch, okay? But at this, at this port here, E, which would be like port five on your receiver, I've put a, a 22K switch. So that means that I could have two satellites coming in here to this one port along with seven other satellites. So now I could have nine satellites if I wanted. If I wanted to add another 22K, I could add one to any one of these ports and bring in a whole bunch of satellites. 
The trick there though is you have to have everything set properly in your, in your receiver. So now you're not only setting up your DISEC uh, switch ports, but you're also gonna have to make sure your 22K switch settings are also set correctly. So it can get confusing, but the possibilities are endless.